Okay, what's up guys and welcome back to this second video on our channel. So today we're going to be going over a basic Mindflayer Discord.js server chatbot. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to go to discord.com slash developers slash applications. You're going to click new application, name it anything, hello bot, create, and then once you do that, you're going to go to bot, add bot, yes do it. Then it will generate a bot user, and you're going to go to OAuth2, and if we go to bot, and then we copy that, we're able to add the bot to a server. So in my case, I'll add it to bot testing. So once it's authorized, you should be able to see, okay, there's our bot. So now we have the bot inside of our server, so we can start with the code. So now that we're ready to start, we're going to go to Visual Studio. We're going to create a folder, whatever you want, and create a new file, index.js. And now, you're going to be able to use the Visual Studio terminal at the very bottom. And we're going to install our dependencies that we need. Okay, so now that we have our terminal open, we're going to install two dependencies that we need. We're going to type npm install discord. .js, and we're going to wait for that to install. So there we go, now that's installed. Now we're going to type npm install mindflayer and then let that run. Okay, so now that we have both of our packages added, we're going to be able to start the bot. So first we're going to call those two packages that we just installed with const discord equals require discord.js. And then const mindflayer equals require mindflayer. So that's basically going to bring in the two packages that we just installed so that you're able to use them. Okay, so now that we have our dependencies, we're ready to actually start writing some code. So first we'll start with let prefix equals and then put whatever prefix you want your bot to start with. We'll just use dot for now. This will be for later episodes. And then we're also going to create a Discord client so you can actually interact with Discord. So we're going to do const client equals new discord.client and that will pretty much create the client so you're able to use it. And then at the bottom, we're going to type client.login and in order to log into our bot, we're going to go back to the developer application. We're going to go to bot. We're going to click copy and then we're going to paste the token inside of client.login. So what this will do is it will log in your bot through the token that you're able to provide. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to create our actual bot that will log into the game. So we're going to let bot, and you can use any variable name that you want. I just use bot equals mindflare.createBot. And then you're going to put that in parentheses and brackets. And now we're going to put our options for the bot. So version, and then we're going to put that as any version that you want. I'm going to use 1.8. Then comma to go into the next one, host. This is going to be your server IP, so I'll use play.vanitymc.co. Next one, we're going to have username, which is the bot's email address that you're able to log into. So I'm just going to use a generic one. Let me pull these up real quick. So that's going to be my login. Then we're going to have password. So password. This is the bot's password. And there we go. We've successfully created a bot. So now that we have a bot ready, we're going to set up our Discord bot instead of the in-game bot. So we're going to use client.on ready. And what this will do is whenever you whenever your bot is actually logged in, whenever the Discord bot is, it will log something, whatever you put inside of these brackets. So I'll just console.log bot online. So now whenever the Discord bot logs in to its account, it will automatically log to the console bot online. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, but for the actual in-game bot. So we're going to do bot.on, but this time we're going to use login. So when the bot logs into the server, then it will log whatever you want it to log. So in this case, we can just log, in this case, we can log console.log in-game bot online 
And you can also run a command. And how you run a command to the bot is bot.chat. Then in here you can put whatever command you want. So I'll just use slash heroic. So here we go. Now that our now whenever our Discord bot logs in, it will log bot online. Whenever our in-game bot logs in, it will log in-game bot online and it will send the command slash heroic. Okay, so now that our bot is logged in, what we're going to do is we're going to actually create the server chat functions. So how we're going to do that is bot.on message. So what this will do is whenever there is a message in game, it will run an event which we can use that to connect to Discord. So in this case, what we're going to do is let channel equals client dot channels dot cache dot get. And then we're going to put in the channel ID. So in this case, we're going to go to this channel. We're going to right click. We're going to click copy ID, paste that in here. And now we're going to add a catch. So if the channel does not exist, so if no channel return. So now if the channel is not actually existing, so if I would delete this, then it would return the function. And now we're just going to have channel.send message. So now whenever a message comes in through the bot, it will send the message automatically to the channel, which will bring you the server chat. So now if we test this out, we're going to run node index.js, which will run the file that we're using. And there we go, we can see bot online and in-game bot online. If we go to our channel, we have the server chat coming from the bot, which transfers to the Discord bot. So there we go guys, a really basic server chat bot that can help you get into Mindflayer and Discord.js. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment something, make sure to join our Discord for support if you, don't, if you have any questions, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.